Hello guys and girls and welcome to The Last Door. Another kind, I think it's another game by Script Wilder, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. Let's have a go, I've had really good stuff about this game. So let's, let's, uh, let's do it. New game. Headphones and dark and violent recommended. While playing, 1. An E disabled dyslexia friendly font. 2. Enable disabled descriptions of sound. And 3. For a full screen map. Which we've already got on, I think. After all the things I've seen. Okay, let's pick up the row. Let's go to the... Ah! Oh, after all the things I've done. I'm gonna hang myself. No! My life is on a course that I can't escape from. Oh no. It's too late for me now. No, don't do it! I just hope you could forgive me someday. Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. The Last Door. Well, that's an opening. <laughs> Developed by people. Original music by Carlos Viola. Carlos Viola. A lot of ravens. Oh, Jesus! This sort of thanks to Reed Harris, the Neonology, Tyson Goofwolf, and Jamas and Wright. Sponsored by Karma. Crazy made in Spain games. To our 285 backers for making this possible. Ah, oh, Kickstarter funded this. Thank you very much. October 1891. Ah! It's in. Sp oh, it's in Spanish. That's the only thing my dear old friend Be Anthony Beechworth wrote in his letter. It's been many years since I last heard that sentence. It used to be the motto of the science and philosophy group that we secretly ran back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. We left it all behind like simple childhood memories, but it was unusual. That letter could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex to the address of the letter, to the address of the letter, and here, there it was, the old home of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Mansion. Chapter one, the letter. Okay, lens. Here. Should we investigate inside? Let's investigate inside first. This is weird, everything is silent, like there's no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony, I have to find him. Okay. A grandfather clock is the only sound around here. A portrait of Anthony, he looks older than I expected. What's over here? A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth, due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no offer. We have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years at your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. They spoke like this for some reason. My coat. My coat. Okay. Investigate upstairs. Oh, I quite like this so far. It's quite, it's quite daunting. It won't open. It's going to sound up a bit. Go down here. Hmm. A 
A drinks cabinet with glasses, some crystal bottles and a matchbox. A gramophone, it looks rusty. A fireplace, looks like it's been cleaned a long time. That large window is wide open, letting the cold dust scare in. Is door open? Oh, that's open. A landscape painting. A landscape painting. A crooked painting. Okay. Plates and pans. The kitchen stoves and the cleaning cloth. A plate with some days old leftovers. A variety of cooking ingredients. Nice. I unlocked the door. Oh, well done. Oh, what the hell? A murder of crows is eagerly eating something. It's just rubbish. Oh, I see. Right, let's go over here. A landscape painting. Oh! <laughs> and of course we have a solid wood crucifix. I'll take it. Right. The painting's on the floor and the frame is broken. A landscape painting. That small plant brings life to this place. Otherwise, deathless place. Death. Oh Christ! A lamp. It will come in handy. <laughs> Some toiletries. Can I go and get the lamp? Oh, I can get the lamp. Then that's good. Some toiletries. There's a note on the table. March fifth, eighteen ninety-one. Master made us get rid of our religious objects. What was going on with him? Luckily, I found a place to hide my rosary. I can't pray every night about it. May 18th, 1891. Master has been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I can't let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about the master. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. September 15th, 1891. Mr. Beechworth is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he's rarely eats anything. I'm really worried. Empty bowl, like the ones... Like the ones used to feed a pet. Alright, oh, okay. The window is so open, it's like the wood is giving up. I need some sort of cord to keep it open. In the wall, I can see a trace of a crucifix that was hanging there for years. And that's gone. Can I put the rosary in? I'll keep the rosary with me better than leaving it there on the wall. Okay. Can I put can I like stick it open? Ah Yeah. Right, let's go. I've got a lamp now, which is good. It's good. Oh, it's padlock, dang. Right, this is like a new kind of let's play, I'm gonna make it as long as I can. It's going to be a longer episode than the other, the next ones I'm going to do. Um, there's no record in the ground for Can I go up? Yeah. Ah. Oh, what, I can't, can't light it? Why won't let me light the lamp? Okay. Um, let's go over here. Okay, they're too vicious. Let's <laughs> just uh, get out the way of them then. Is there any like match a match? Oh it just say matchbox, isn't it? Uh what does it say match there? Or oh, something over here. An old cliff. I swear it said matchbox somewhere. Maybe I'm making it up. Maybe I'm making it up.
Oh, there we go. Matches. Yeah. There you go. Now that's ready. I thought it said match box. Ah, so wooden planks have been nailed to this doorway. I can't remove them with my bare hands. My god, this guy's got bare hands! Right, so investigate. It's in there, silver key. Let's take that. A double bed is covered in dust, seems like no one has slept here for days. The fireplace hasn't been used for a long time. A gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. It's over here. Family portrait. The window is a balcony that communicates with the adjacent room. I can't have a latch, it's stuck, but I could force it with a small tool. Maybe. Okay. Locked, uh huh. Ah, oh, what? Well, oh, yes, yeah, I've clicked the whole thing. Dang it. I think, oh, that key must fit the padlock in the. I don't know where that is. Oh, the oil might, might fit this one. This one's locked. Hidden with the lock. Okay, well, let's try out over here. Um, no, down here. The key might fit the lock down yonder. Which room is it? Keep looking, going. This one. There we go. Oh, it's done here. What's that? A slight record title, The Carnival of Venice. Pick it up. Oh, hello. Some firewood. Can I not pick that up? An old iron crowbar. That'd be good to get the planks off the door. Okay. The boilers have been not used for a long time. I don't need to light the boiler. The cement in this wall is still fresh. I can't break down the wall with this. Why well, is a crowbar? Of course you can break down the wall with a crowbar. Okay. Let's keep exploring. Um, yep, yeah, again. Got a crowbar, so that means I can do stuff. I can take the planks off the. Oh, hang on. No, go back. Uh, go back there. The music stopped abruptly. Hang on. Oh! God damn it! No! 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 No, no, no. Oh, crap. Leave. For God's sake, what happened here? The writing the walls reads, Leave me alone. Who would have written such a thing? An old wheelchair. It's a letter. Dear Margaret, it's been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper angry, frightfully, and it gets worse that night. Only our servants left a few days ago. Without their help and care, I'm lost. 
can barely walk out of bed and now he, you know, even a doctor would come up here would come here after his argument with Anthony. He has developed this horrible ability to break anyone's will. I don't know what to do. I don't have any strength left. I wish I could send you his letter, your dear friend. The lifeless body of a woman has been here for a few days now. Looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts, my last lines, my last breath. I don't know what kind of dark power has turned my husband to what he is now, a stranger with a look of breath of all sanity, compassion and human warmth. I don't know that shadow that slowly darkened our lives. I don't know this foreign host that now dwell in our souls. I don't know where it's from, but I'm sure it's not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I'll be three from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon, I will stop trembling. Oh, what was that? It happened. A letter and a people hammer. I can't go on. All is lost. It's a diary page. I can't stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know what they're... I know they think I'm not worthy of this family. Who are they? But dust and bones. A memory. Leave me. I don't need you. Leave me alone. And that is all we've got time for, guys and girls. Thank you for watching, and I will bring more of this to you in the future. Please like, favorite, and subscribe to join the Night Watchers today, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next episode. Or... Oh. They can pause the game. Anyway, see you later. Bye!